how everyone sees here, and yes, as you can tell by the title, this is supposed to be another worst P tennis party. Um, but this time it's a static four out of eight P tennis party. So these people are missing half of the static members, and today I'm going to show you why <laughs> in a few minutes. And honestly, I was kind of pissed off in this party because this party is kind of sussy. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you why they're missing it for other members. So here we see that the samurai got clips. Thankfully, there's no doom because that's what normally distract healers. So I'm going to this spot. And here, this, the tanks did not know where they were going. Honestly, they got clipped by the drones. The roll stack is super big. And they didn't need to go anywhere else, right? So I will V3 them up so to make sure that nobody dies from autos. Here, I caracal. Vices too, and shields to make sure that the other side don't die from damage. And that's when the paladin was so far up, I was like, that was unnecessary. So, the players in the middle is going to survive that stack, don't worry. It's just that for Herring Hell, it's going to be super spicy for me. So coming into Herring Hell with weakness, it's really bad, but I still could work this thing out. I got Caracol, Zoe Shields, Holos, Penheimer. I basically was set for this raid wide, right? Of course, we are missing a reprisal, and we basically have no mitigation, like Divine Veil from the Paladin. I don't know where that is. So I end up trying my best to heal up the party with Ixacol, and just to find out the samurai is all in the back with the range, and they clip in the range and killing everybody. Basically wiping the party from raid wide damage now because we have no mana. I want to let you guys know, as we're going to Herring Hell, we keep having these stupid deaths every single time on turret, so I'm going to let you guys know we're coming in here with a lot of weakness. So as we got to back to Bonds 3, the tanks keep going to the wrong spot, the Dark Knight, specifically, went to the wrong spot. Everybody died, and I basically LB3 everybody up, right? And I'm late to shield the party, so I end up caracoling and Fices 2 just to keep the party alive and party going, right? I scream out aggro so nobody dies from aggro damage. I'm about to die from getting shot. Just to find out the Dark Knight want to go all the way up there in Narnia. Cute. So because of that now, we ended up having to wipe because there's no healers alive to keep everybody alive during that whole stack. Great. So this next pool, the person said to his web spot dot dot dot. When you see dot dot dot, that means they're pissed off, right? So I was ready to fight this healer and I got my keyboard out just in case because for some odd reason, the healer got an attitude even though uh, the tank was literally killing everybody. So, what's funny here is that the dancer fell off the cliff, and then the paladin decided to leave the DPS alone. So because of that now, we had to waste more mana. The same pool, we got to Heron Hell again, right? This time I was fully prepared, no weakness, right? Shield, heal, everything was ready, right? And I was ready to heal this Herring Hell with all I got, right? So I start with shield, right? And I got holos, right? I got my Penheimer, basically my usual, but this time in the correct order, right? Exical, shield again, Penuma soon, boom, right? But the white mage got the damage, and uh, the red mage got damage as well. So what's going on? So of course I could have rested the damn white mage here. Don't don't give me that. Listen, we're still gonna die. So I thought the tank was gonna LB, but it never LB at all. There's no tank LB. There's no reprisal with the mitigation from the tanks, right? There's no mitigation from the tanks. We're dying. This situation happened before every single time where tanks don't mitigate the big raid wide. We end up dying from the damage, right? So that's probably why the white mage stopped healing, because we think that we're going to 
they're going to LB, but they never LB. That's the thing. So, I, of course, I made a face, like I always do. And, honestly, it was just getting annoying. So, for, let you guys know, after you guys in Vaughn, after the second or third hit, yes, you guys got to instantly pop LB for some of these people. To be honest, we didn't need LB. We just need reprisal. We just need some mitigation from y'all. Y'all not mitigating the raid wire. We just straight up dying from damage. Simple as that. And it shouldn't be really that difficult. But according to these people, it's difficult. So in this pool, the white mage ended up dying from drones. And I ended up having to use my mana. And because of that now, I'm taking care of the party by myself during turrets. I like taking care of the party anyway, you know, because that's my job as shield to mitigate and make sure everybody's super safe, right? Giving out good heals, OGC heals. And as we do in partner spread, somebody decided to back up. Let me give you guys a recap on what's, what's going on. Pool number one. This is the same thing. Partners into spread. Same predicament, right? We got lucky. Pull number two. You see me all the way back here for spread. I'm making you get corpse of corpse and stuff like that, right? Boom. Why did you back up? Knowing that I'm going backwards first, second, third time, why would you back up the fourth time? Why? He didn't even apologize. So... The next pool, right, we got the Herring Hell, everything looking very, very, very good so far, right? Besides, I got weakness again because somebody decided to murder me, right? But the weakness is going to fall off here. So, of course, I give out my good shields, I didn't care, right? I was healing the party, give out a, even a 1 GCD, shield, heals, more heals. Just to find out that the white mage keep popping Lily super late. And still no reprisal, and I give out shields, right? And for some odd reason, we're so low that we end up dying from damage. And we can clipped. So I'm sitting here looking at the white mage. I'm like, white mage, like, what's going on? Like, I'm the only person healing that part. So the next pool, we got to bonds three. This is back-to-back -back bonds three memes. I'm not going to lie. Just look where everybody else is going. You got Samurai in the middle, Dark Knight in the middle, boom, clip each other. White Mage left us, boom, we die. She has to LB3 everybody up, boom. I don't even know what's going on here anymore. Like, this party is just dead. And then, of course, I gotta yell at the tanks again to tell them, hey, aggro, I don't have Caracol because I died. Right? This time I don't know two marker, just how the white mage like it. But the thing is, we don't have Caracol up, so they end up taking extra damage. I scream my aggro here, because the death end up dying. Great. Right? And I try to save them too. I shield. Right? Exico for extra healing. You know? Just to keep everything safe and sound. Right? Cool. So back to the Herring Hell. Uh, white mage her usual, I'm using my usual, of course, the paladin is also using his usual by u not using Divine Veil, um, I guess he used Divine Veil earlier, but we don't need it there, but they just waste some mitigation at that point. And now because of that now, I'm healing the party, trying to keep everybody alive, Red Mage looking lost, Samurai in the back, and killing all the range, and dying from damage. Great. So this next pool, of course, yes, back to Bonds 3 again, and what is it this time? It doesn't matter how many times these people see the same mechanic, they keep doing the same mistake, but this time I'm dead. Because the Dark Knight keep running to the center and killing me. Samurai is in the wrong spot. Of course, another LB3, right? I rescued the White Mage so just so she could have, like, movement time, right? This time I'm able to shield by King Caracol. And I just basically just cruised the whole damn fight. Because at this point, it's like, we can't even pass the mechanic. It's no point, right? <sighs> and I'm so and I'm so annoyed this, during this pool. And of course, the stupid tanks did not have uh, aggro. So 
because of that, guess who we're going to take the tank buster soon? I'm not even going to say a word. I'm just going to let the tanks know that the Reaper is getting a tank buster and the Reaper is going to get pissed off soon. Right? Boom! Laser on the on the Reaper. And of course the Reaper got pissed off and you say, okay tanks, GG. If I have to tell you once or twice to, to take back aggro when you die, I'm not telling you the third time. I say L you up because at this point it's funny. Because this is a trap party. And honestly, it was a waste of my damn time. How many times do you have to see the mechanic just to be like, oh, I'm going to do the same mistake multiple damn times and keep killing DPS and, and, and everybody to the same mistake? Like, in, in, the, in my opinion, this, this party right here is not it. So, of course, I'm not sure how the samurai died. He just straight up went from, like, 75% HP to zero. Right? And of course, there's still no reprisal on this damn raid wide. And I had to hate on myself by accident, but I don't even care. Right? Because we're still going to probably die from damage. Right? Me thinking that. But this time, everybody's max HP, and nobody died from damage. Wow. Oh my god. You know what? We still going to die because we don't have enough DPS. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Too many deaths going into Herring Hell is not good. Including where we got players who make the same obvious mistakes during Bonds 3. And of course, the LB didn't work. Me, I was ready to heal the second Herring Hell with all the cooldowns that I got. Just to find out that, of course, there's still no, no good mitigation and we still die from damage. Yep. Cool. And we're not even going to make it anyway. So, I just put I say GG's because these people are making the same mistake on Bond 3, mostly speaking and not trying to witch hunt, but I'm going to have to call the their, their class. The Samurai obviously cannot do Bond 3 correctly. The Dark Knight looks lost, and the tanks are not mitigating Herring Hell. There's no point staying in this party. Like, the Rebels look lost, the Rebels keep healing late. I Pull up 20% mitigation with Shields and Penheimer, and nobody seems to mitigate on time, which is why we kept dying to the debuff after Herring Hell. Honestly, get your 8 out of 8 static back.